Okay, doing a service call on this water heater. The uh, I was out here probably six months ago and did some work on it. Looks like it's off again. So the um, the owner wants a permanent fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mechanical valve on and replace the burner assembly with one that will accept a mechanical valve. So that's a thermocouple. So the first thing you want to do is shut off the supply of gas to the valve. Disconnect the supply line. Pull the adapter. the adapter pull the burner assembly So just connect the thermal pile, get the old burner assembly out. I'm gonna encourage this in case there's any sediment in the line. I got the water shut off, so I went ahead and turned the water off, and then you want to break the pressure. So I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Pressure broken. Get the new valve ready to go. Hopefully, uh, this one will reach. So, I thread a uh, half inch nipple on here just to get it going. Go ahead and turn the water back on, check for leaks. So 
So the, uh, the sight glass is missing from here. I must have taken it out. So this is a uh, this is a burner assembly that somebody cut up, so it couldn't be reused. Sight glass is good. Yo. Hey, how are you? Hey. Are you the tenant? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth called me and told me you guys are having trouble with your water heater. Yeah, it's went out. I restarted it last night too. Okay. So. Yeah, I was off when I got here, so yeah. I so think the it's. Uh, wife said this morning. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's uh, it's got valve issues. So what we're gonna do is um, change it over to this mechanical type of valve. Yep. These things are a little more bulletproof. They're not as sensitive as the old ones. Oh, cool. Yeah. So hopefully it just runs and doesn't give me any trouble. Okay. Is that just like a is that like a California thing? You guys have your water heaters outside? Because. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Where are you okay. from? Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it never gets cold here, right? Yeah, yeah. All it does is rain, maybe. I don't know, man. I gotta... Like, it's... I gotta go back to Washington here shortly, but... Oh, do you? Oh, man. Like, I'm not... Looking forward to it? No. 30 degrees? Oh. 30 degrees is not so fun. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> I'm, I was born and raised out here. I don't think I could handle it, you know? Oh, yeah. My well, sister lives in Idaho, and she's trying to get me to retire there. I'm like, why would I live here my whole life and then go there and freeze to death in my 80s? Exactly. <laughs> like you gotta be crazy. All right, brother. How's it So I don't use Teflon tape with the adapters. Uh, it's just a habit I got into because it can uh, it can crack the valve, you know, if there's too much tension. So I just put a little pipe dope on there. It's really just a lubricant, kind of helps you get get it seated in there a little bit better. Uh, clicker uh, shot. Okay. A little bit better. So that's it. Pilot light. Let's hope it holds. I got these clamps on Amazon. Doesn't fully extend, but uh, you know they were two dollars each. I got five of them for nine ninety nine. Can't go wrong there. So let's hope we got a good valve and a good thermocouple. We will know here in a second. Yeah. Turn it to the on position. We'll set it on B. There we go. So hopefully he doesn't have any more problems. He wanted a permanent fix. So this is the closest thing to a permanent fix that I know of. Everything's tightened down real well. Came right up. So this is like a 2014 ream. 
So yeah. There you go. We'll probably get some condensation drops. Burner looks pretty good. Pretty nice flame. Pretty good looking uh, blue flame there. That's what you want to see. Mostly blue with uh, orange tips. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Uh, consider subscribing. And I got tons of videos. I got like 250 videos, all uh, mostly on water heater repair, installation, service calls, like this. So, pretty easy. I think this took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes or something to do. But uh, anyway, that's it. Have a great day.